October 27th, uh, Salt River Outfitter, Central Kentucky, put us, put me on a farm that's got a real mature deer on it. Um, we don't know how old he is, but they've had a lot of history with them. A real freaky looking deer. Um, so excited to be back in the stand. They've been uh, feeding the buck bourbon barrel proof salmon garlic. Hadn't had pictures of this deer since the first uh, first week of the season, and they said, "No, what what happened?" Um, they've been trying a few different things, and George was telling me, he says, "We just decided we're going to start feeding the barrel proof cinnamon garlic because that's what he'd killed both of his deer over." And um, a couple days later, they start getting him back on camera. He's tearing it up, uh, coming right to the feeder. Um, we're right in the middle of a uh, it's basically downtown Louisville. I mean, it's a big houses and shopping centers and a hospital. So it's a, we're in a nice little patch of woods that's in between some of that. Just smoked him. Oh, well, that's the biggest deer I've ever shot in my bow. Oh my God, I just smoked a giant. Yes. Oh. <laughs> Are you there? <laughs> oh my God, George, he's huge. <laughs> is, it, is it good here? Oh, I, I think I smoked him, dude. Woo! <laughs> Are you sure it's Uh, If not, it's, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're gonna check the arrow out. There might be a chance it's just a hair low, but I feel like I smoked him. But we're gonna check the arrow out. Come on. They come right into the buck bourbon. They've been feeding the barrel proof. They hadn't had pictures of him since the first week. He said they started feeding the barrel proof and then a few days later he started coming in. Everybody said they had a good feeling about tonight. I'm glad it wasn't gas, Heath. I'm glad it wasn't gas. I'm at Halloween, I'm gonna be Swack Morris. Oh God, it is covered. 
Oh my gosh. I don't think he went far. We've got pretty good blood, but we're just gonna back out. We're so close to the road over here and the creek and houses, so we're just gonna give him a little bit more time. We've got some real good blood though. But I, I feel good about the shot, but I just wanna give him some extra time. I'm telling you right now, Holy that deer's going to go over 150, and he ain't, but I don't think he's 10 inches wide. He, oh. he's, he'll be right at 10 inches wide. Oh, yeah. He come out back here. Look at this. Look at the head on him, though. Look at the body on this joker. Wow. We've been trying to kill this deer for, what, three years, four years, he? Three years. At least three years. He's, he's so big. One more time. So big. One more time, So Tyler. big. Bam, baby. Dude, when he stepped out, I was just like, oh my goodness. That's, what, <laughs> that's something we need to talk about. This, so this deer, we've had this deer off and on for three years, four, three, four, however long it's been. We were trying to get him this year. And if you remember, when we got this pictures of him in velvet, we had barrel proof in it. Yeah. And we run out of barrel proof, so we started filling the feeder with just straight corn. And we lost him from, was it August? Well, it was the week before the season yeah. opened, wasn't it? We lost him in August. We didn't some... get him back till the middle of September. We started getting pictures of him again every night. No. Day. No, we never had him in September. We didn't get him until 1st of October I was about again. Saying, I thought it was about two or three weeks ago. Yeah, it was about the 1st of October when we started filling that feeder back up with barrel proof when we had it. And I'm telling you, the cinnamon garlic barrel proof is, I think, the best, one of the best products we have, if not the best product we have. And people don't talk about cinnamon and garlic at all in the deer world but all the benefits you get from it. I mean, I don't know why people aren't putting it in every feed that's made. 